put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. If the video is too long for you, I have recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. FX Mode Review Special effects expert Raleigh Tyler is hired for to stage a murder to help get basically there's a mobster who is there's a hit out on him and they're trying to put him in witness protection and they want Raleigh to help stage the murder they even want him as the gunman but something goes wrong and he is now hunted for the actual murder of the mobster and the only way he can survive is how he's made his living by tricking people using special effects it's been said that Brown may not be the most charismatic actor, but you know the the one man against a world of evil. Yeah, it it really works, and yeah, he's very enjoyable lead, very much an everyman. Now Martha German as Andy. Some have said that I mean she's others have already pointed out she is the soul of the film. She isn't the best actress. It's it's not really too bad, but yeah, there are times where yeah, her performance could be better. And this has Jerry Orbach. He is the the mobster. And he's a delicious villain. It also has Tom Noonan, although they don't really use him much you know I mean he is the quintessential he is so creepy so good at playing such creepy characters and here he's just yeah it, it's they, they don't really use him and it's, it's really too bad apparently special effects real life special effects expert John Spears says that he has been asked by the government to you know, fake some of the things we see here in the film. And the... Yeah, the, the premise is really engaging and memorable. And it's been noted that, you know, it's, it's solid enough to, just, you know, survive the numerous, excuse me, implausibilities and, you know, silly dialogue and some so-so casting secondary characters but yeah this is a tense intense silly 80s action flick you know and the the action is highly creative very well staged and yeah he he always finds a way to trick the others and yeah get his way out of situations that yeah, you know, he's not trained as, like, an agent, and he doesn't have a gun. And, yeah, there is this whole, you know, they he doesn't know how many of them there are. He just knows it's that, yeah, it was, you know, they, something happened, and he doesn't quite know who to trust. And... Yeah, you know, they they have a lot of people, they have a lot of means, you know, government kind of, and yeah, he just has, you know, his own wits, Andy, and then the, the, the numerous effects that the two of them can use, and he and Andy will do, like, pranks on each other. And, uh, yeah. Now, 
I I don't remember the sequel. I will get to it. It I've heard that it takes itself too seriously, and that's definitely you know this one doesn't take itself too seriously, and the twists will really keep you guessing throughout. The the movie is more psychologically complex than you might think, and it really is all rooted in the characters and the relationships they have to each other. Like I said, you know, Andy and Raleigh and the, you know, Raleigh's relationship to his actress girlfriend and just, yeah, the, the, the way that Raleigh deals with this 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 first agent that he comes into contact with that kind of that tells him about the job and such and Raleigh he really can't stand the mob you know yeah and he doesn't hide that at all and he's still you know he's got to work with him he you know he makes like a, a, a cast of his face and upper body for this kind of you know or maybe, yeah, just the the face, I guess. To yeah, to to do you know the whole squibs kind of thing on and so so yeah, they have to tolerate each other there and but but yeah, when he can, he'll take a, a shot at him, not literally, and it's it's also the the film. Before the the staged attack, we actually we spend several minutes on like it's it's in part a montage, but you do see a lot of the steps in the making of this cast. But it's yeah, it's it's good viewing. You you'd think that something like that would be boring, although you know montages in the eighties go hand in hand, but. Yeah, it just, it, it works. It gets you into the world. Now, as much fun as Brian Dennehy is as a tough cop, and he's like, there's this great introductory, like a tracking shot that ends on his phone and like him, you know, his his face as he's lying in bed, and he answers the phone, and it's, of course, he didn't exactly expect to be called at that particular time, but, yeah, the the shot, oh, you know, you see these, like, you know, leftovers from, like, I think it's, like, Chinese food, and just, like, very much a bachelor pad, and, yeah, it really establishes his character, and, yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun, and I... If, I enjoy a, you know, a trip through every single cop cliche of the 80s and, and such as much as the next guy, but the whole investigation subplot, it only really becomes irrelevant at the very end, and it could easily have been cut entirely. A lot of... <laughs> Not a lot of runtime, but it feels like it, it kind of stops the movie dead. And we're seeing characters that we've only just gotten to know figuring out things that we already know. You know, they're going to crime scenes where we, we know what just happened there. And yeah, and, and I, you know, this is in contrast to um, this kind of thing doesn't have to be, you know, kind of meh. I mean, in, in, you know, the first Terminator movie, you also have this bit with the cops trying to figure out what's going on, and we know at least a little bit more than they do, but it's still enjoyable, you know, and it's in part because it's much more relevant to the overall film. And, yeah, and this, it's it's about halfway through the film that the, the subplot comes up at all. And among the, the really fun things that we get in the film are Raleigh stealthing his way through this mansion using, the, you know, the effects. And, yeah, it's it's some really good, you know, it's not, he's not Rambo, but it's, it's good stuff. It's, I'd say more than Rambo light. It's, it's nicely 
on the way to being Rambo. Yeah. A good 75% Rambo without, you know, particularly lethal weaponry or the like. I believe that covers what I had to say. Can't you see my life's easy? So stop troubling me with your problems that aren't mine. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.